Hello, welcome to Steve McDonald's Arts and Crafts and today what I'm going to do is I'm doing a follow-up video on my stencils in resin video where I made these because there was lots of comments and interest on this video and lots of people asking me well could you use glitter uh, in the same way and I said well I actually I don't know I haven't tried it so what I will do is I'll try it so I thought while I'm trying that so I'm going to use a red glitter on this flower here I would also try some metallic paints as well because I love the Arteza metallic paints. I do make my own metallic paints as well but I'm, I've got these Arteza ones and I'm also going to try embossing. So I'm going to make a larger coaster here and use this embossing block and these stamps and some embossing powder and to see if we can get that done as well. So it'd be great to find out what we're going to come up with. Now, I do need to do these once I've poured a thin layer of resin here. And then I'll do the stamps, stencils, etc. on the top and then pour over it. So without too much further ado, let's get on and prepare these coaster blanks ready to do the stenciling. Oh, I hope you're excited as much as I am because this could open up lots of new doors. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my future videos and ring that little notification bell. Bell, 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 ding, 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 bell, 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 because that way you won't miss out on any of my future videos coming up. I've mixed up my heat resistant resin by resin colour and I'm just about to pour that in. All I need to do is pour in enough to cover the actual base of this coaster and then I can put the stuff on top of it and I'll leave this to cure for 24 hours. These have cured now and what I've done is I've put my transfers onto the cured resin and all I need to do now is to let's just clear off a little bit of dust that's got onto that one all i need to do now is to paint my gold leaf glue onto here so that's drying and then start my first coat on my rose i'm not going to put too much of this gold leaf glue on because i want it to stay really where it is i want to avoid it seeping under the stencil itself and you don't need too much as soon as it dries it goes sticky anyway and the glitter should i hope stick to it so that's that done. I'll leave that now for about 15 minutes to dry. And then while that's drying, I'm going to go over this one with the metallic paint. So I've got the Arteza acrylic iridescent paint. So that's what I'm going to be using to go over this. And I'm going to be using the fiery red and the shocking lime green. And this will probably need more than one coat. And all I'm going to do for this is just paint that on and let that dry so we'll let that one dry as well and these are the stamps that i'm going to use because these are all different stamps from different packs i'm going to stamp them individually i'm just popping down a little bit of anti-static powder and the first one i'm going to stamp is the rose because i want that quite central Try not to move your stamp around as well because you don't want it to move around too much because you want a nice even coating. So there's my rose and I'm going to use on that one a pinky colour. I'm just going to pour that on. Tap that out. Give it a blow and as you can see that has gone there so now the next bit is whether it's going to work for heating it up with my embossing heat gun. But what I'm going to do first is I'm definitely going to get this nice and hot so that I don't have to have it on there for too long. And while that's heating up, I'm going to stamp the stem of the rose. I will link everything that I'm using today in the description below, so don't worry about that. And I want that stem come off at about there. Yeah, and that's come out quite nice. And what I'm going to be using for that is, unfortunately, none of these have got names on them, so I don't know what colour they are. I am going to use this one. I hope it's a green colour. And the stem has come out quite nice. So there we go. That's them all done. And I think my heat gun is now hot enough. And I'm going to put it on and then pull it off again because I don't want to overheat this actual resin while this is heating up. There we go that seems to have embossed on there quite nicely so i'll let that cool down now 
So the gold leaf glue is now dry. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop in what I think are the leaves with this green glitter. I'm just using this tiny little spoon here to pop that on. There we go. And I'm just going to give that a bit of a push down. So it sticks in nicely into that glue. I have no idea if this is going to work or not. Who knows? I'd just like to say a quick thank you to all my members who are coming up now. If you'd like to become a member of my channel, then check out the join button in the description below. And there are a lot of perks and I hope all my members are enjoying the perks and the membership is growing nicely now. Thank you very much. And if you'd like to buy me a coffee now, just, just to say thank you for all the experiments and everything that I do, then the link to buy me a coffee is in the description. Because without you guys, there's no way I would be able to continue to afford to be able to buy and do all this stuff. So thank you very much to everybody that's bought me a coffee and your names will go on the wall of fame in my other studio. I'm never sure which of the leaves and which aren't, to be perfectly honest. Probably none of this that I've just done is leaf, but there we go. So I'm gonna leave that there for a second. I'm just gonna go around and I'm just gonna push that down with the back of this spoon so it sticks nicely into that glue. Then I'm gonna tap that off and hopefully it has stuck there. Oh, that seems to have stuck there at the moment. We'll find out once the stencil comes off and now over the rest of it i'm just going to pour some red i did do this experiment with my mica powders and it came out really really well i will link that video to the end of this one if you haven't already seen it so i'm just going to pop that down as well and tap that out take this blue painter's tape up oh all right let's see if this has worked I think that's come out really, really pretty. All I need to do now is to get rid of some of the extra bits that have got around the edge. And I'll just do that with a bit of tape once I'm confident that this is all dry. And then I can pour over that. Right, well, that first coat of this one is dry. And now what I'm going to do, I'm not going to give it a second coat. I'm only going to give it one to see how well that works out. Oh, and I love how that's come out as well. I think that's come out really well. I do think, though, my paint has leaked under it a little bit in places. So I'm just going to go around with one of these micro brushes and give it a little bit of a clean. But that was quite an old stencil. So it may be the fact that it was an old stencil. I love these micro brushes. They're so useful for so many different things. And they're so cheap. OK, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that they are fully dry all of them i mean obviously this one is fully dry and then i'm going to pour over my resin with kind of a very pale color to put over the top of these and what i am using is i'm using this heat resistant resin by a company called resin color now it's a brilliant resin i'm moving over to all their resins because they do a great range of resins for everything that you need shallow casting artwork deep casting and heat resistant resin as well they're a great company and they've given me some a discount code for customers and what that will do is it will take you to a page on their website and it will give you a discount but the great thing is it's probably one of the cheapest resins on the market as well i am so impressed with it i'm so impressed with the quality and i'm so impressed with everything that they've got going on i'm great i'm so pleased to be working alongside them so give them a look next time you want some resin i recommend it it gives great results, it's clear, and also it doesn't give too many bubbles either. Unfortunately, it's only available in the UK, but hopefully their mica powders and all that sort of thing will be available throughout the world. But I will recommend a resin for anybody in the USA who is watching my videos. So check them out, check out their website, I'll put the link below, and check out their great deals and their great prices. And their customer service is excellent, and also it's a very quick turnaround to get it to you as well, which is great. I'm so pleased with that. Oh, they've come out so far. <laughs> I'm pouring over my resin now that I've got my pigment mixed up in. And I'm pouring it right to the top of this. Don't forget, check out my new crafting channel. The link to that is in the description below. I'm popping the bubbles. Once I pop the bubbles, I'll cover it and let it cure for 24 hours. These have all cured now. And I have to say, I'm a little bit nervous about this project. Because glitter is a bit of a unknown quantity sometimes in resin. And so is the actual embossing powder. The only one I'm kind of quite sure about is the paint. So I haven't even turned these over myself yet to have a look and see what's going on on this side. So, okay, they look like they've come out. All right, so the first one I'm going to have a look at is the one with the paint. No, I'm not. It's the one with the glitter. 
And I really do like how that one's come out. I think that's come out really well. <laughs> I think that looks beautiful. I think what I would do next time is I would probably put a little bit more in of the green glitter or have a darker green glitter. I do like it against that white background. And so these have been made, as I said, heat resistant resin. So these will be fine for using with hot cups and things. I, I'm really pleased with that one. I do love how that glitter's come out. I think that's come out really pretty and it's very sparkly. So the next one is the embossing powder. Oh, that's come out oh that's come out really really nice. It's very pastel in color. I do like that. I wish what I'd done was I'd painted some of the glue in there with one of the pens that I've got embossing pens and then added some embossing powder onto that and made that red so I had an outline, but we live and learn, and the same for the leaves. But I really think that's come out well. I think the embossing powder has come out really well. I could have got away with the darker background, I think, on this one. So here's the one that I think is going to work. Yeah, that has worked. I do love that. And I think it gives another whole new avenue for your stencils to be using and your stamps and embossing powders to be using in your resin instead of just on your cards, especially if you're not making cards anymore. Let me know what you think about these in the comments. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell. Ding, 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 ding. So you don't miss out on any of my future videos. If you'd like to buy me a coffee, the link for that is in the description, along with all the links to everything that I've used today. Check out the video that's coming up next, and it shows how I use stencil to add mica powder to resin and to make some co coasters using mica powder and resin and stencils. And that came out really well too. Thank you very much. Take care of yourself. Enjoy your resin. Bye.